you know, the, the negative effects just keep on coming. This is goodbye for a bit. Uh-oh. Can I do this forever? <laughs> do I overshare too much? Good morning, how are you? Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. This should be a productive vlog, so I'm hoping, because I have things I gotta do today. You know, appointments, errands, and then um, packing, cleaning, getting things all in order. So hopefully it's one of those vlogs that's gonna feel like motivating and productive to watch. And I love doing it with y'all selfishly because you also motivate me. You're like my accountability buddy whenever I film the things I'm doing. So I'm just getting ready for the day. I have a FaceTime date with a cute boy in about 30 minutes. Our normal morning routine now that he's off tour is I um, normally like to FaceTime him around the time he wakes up, which is nine my time, seven his time and I'm typically still getting ready around that time. So we'll drink coffee and I'll get ready and talk with him, which has been like a nice, lovely way to start the day. And speaking of getting ready and speaking of starting the day, I wanna start this vlog with thanking the sponsor because y'all know this by now, but I love Typology so much. They are one of the leading skincare brands in France, but the US like doesn't really know about them yet. And they're like popping off in France. And I love their tinted products when I get ready in the morning because they are skincare first. So they apply a lot of the same like skincare practices to their almost more makeup-y type products. So like this um, tinted serum has vitamin C, which I love vitamin C. Vitamin C has probably been the number one ingredient that I've noticed has had a positive effect on my skin. It's also like aloe vera. So it's very hydrating, very light. Europe has such stricter regulations for cosmetics, Europe bans, they have a list of I think 1300 different banned ingredients for cosmetics and the US is not as strict. So when you buy something made in um, France or Europe, there's just like, there's higher standards, you know? I love their lip oils. I love some of their skincare. I love their, um, let me find my little concealer. My lighter concealer is in a purse somewhere. This is the, my darker one, but um, a lot of things I love from them. I have a fun link for y'all. So if you use my link and if you buy at least $40 of products, you get this free gift, which yet again, like I said, vitamin C. I swear vitamin C is such a game changer and this is a really great toner. It has 2% um, vitamin C in it. I've also been getting more into toners ever since the surgery because I couldn't wash my face for the longest time and it's just like a nice way to refresh a little bit with the toner and like kind of clean your skin. If you use my link and purchase at least $40 of Typology products, they will give you this for free, which is such a nice, sweet little gift. So thank you Typology for partnering with me on this video. I'm like trying to think through all the things to do today. One step at a time. I'm gonna finish getting ready. I'm gonna call Jordy. Okay, I have a meeting with my manager. That's first. Vet, that's second. Nails, third. Okay. I cannot believe I'm about to overshare this with you, but you know what? We keep it real here. <laughs> I fought tooth and nail for this because, um, okay. I knew the IV antibiotics were gonna mess something up, as they do. They always throw things out of balance, but a common side issue when you're on a ton of antibiotics is it throws off your good bacteria and then you get a yeast overgrowth and you your body can't regulate that. And let's just say, I'm in pain. I'm so excited because my ob -GYN didn't have any um, appointments open. So I messaged him being like, hey, I was in the hospital on IV antibiotics for three days. This is what I think is happening. I see you don't have any appointments. What do I do? They literally never even messaged me back. I just got a call from Walgreens being like, your prescription is ready for pickup. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Cause I was looking into like, do I go to urgent care? I don't want to do that. So, oh, these are interesting. Take one every 72 hours. Wow. Okay. Zoom meetings for the day are done. My inbox is clear. My meds are already kicking in and I feel so much better. I feel like I can like walk around and move with a little more comfortability. Comfortability, is that a word? Um, and I have exactly an hour before we need to head to the vet. The reason for the vet appointment is I'm thinking of switching up Max's food to see if that helps him because I haven't switched up his food in like a year or two, but I don't want to do that without the vet's 
like input. So basically going to bring the foods I'm thinking about and let her help me decide which is best to try for him next. So that's the whole point of that. But I have a couple things I want to try to do before we go. First, tonight I'm going to wash all my clothes before I officially pack tomorrow. But I'm thinking maybe throwing in like the quilt on my bed and like the um, duvet cover and all that sort of stuff to get it really every part of bedding completely clean before Davina comes. And then also maybe just trying on a couple things to figure out which pants I want to pack because I haven't tried on pants in a while and it's chilly in California and it's hot here. So like maybe one pair of jeans, which pair of jeans? I don't know. I'm gonna try them on and figure that out. We haven't even talked about my plan for going out of town. So you know what? Let's go get a little fresh air. Let's go, let's go sit on the porch now. So this has been in the books for quite a while now, but I jokingly say I take so many trips and I never take a vacation. And the point of this trip is I'm taking off a little over a week. I'm going to be gone for 10 solid days and not work for the first time since Christmas. I took off like a week after Christmas, but I'm going to try to start doing this like three times a year, maybe take off a week. I said once a quarter, but we'll see if that happens. And so I will be going dark over here, which is also just so scary to me because as a creator, you're always like fearful of the algorithm punishing you for going dark. There's a chance we might have one bonus deleted scenes video. I'm leaving it up to Tara, sweet editor Tara, to see if we have enough footage to justify that or not. But there's, so there's a chance that I will be dark for, you know, I'll miss possibly three uploads in a row. There might be one bonus upload in that amount of time so that I won't be too long of a break. But all that to say is this is goodbye for a bit. Sounds so dramatic. I'll probably make that my title. Sounds so dramatic. But this is goodbye for a little bit. I do think that I could use the time to continue to physically heal from all the things that have happened because even, you know, the day of surgery was still vlogging, filming, working, answering emails, which is just so silly. So I'm really so excited to just be present and chill for over a week in beautiful weather with Jordy. <sighs> I'm thinking these might be my most versatile jeans, but I haven't worn these in months because it's been so hot. So see if I can do a little TikTok transition, ready? Did it work? It didn't work, did it? They fit. That's great. Man, jeans, jeans suck. Jeans are so uncomfortable. But I'll bring these as my one pair of jeans to mix and match for chillier days. These are way more comfortable than jeans. I was gonna just bring one, I have these in a few colors. I was gonna just bring them in white, but now that they're so comfortable, I'm like, do I bring options of these? For sure bringing these, for sure. I think I'm actually gonna bring these as my third pant option. I just wish they weren't such a similar color to these, but they're a totally different vibe, like trouser vibes. I'll be there for two Sundays, so I need two church fits, and these could be dressed down or, um, worn to church and they're the most comfortable out of all the options but then it's not that different from the linen set that i brought for beachy wow what is with my obsession with white cream pants <laughs> i think i'm gonna choose these as my one pair of shorts to have a dark wash something as an option and these are comfy because i got enough room in the thighs which is great okay feeling good about this well, now I'm just thinking through packing and I wasn't gonna pack till tomorrow, but I wanted to bring all my beach cover up. So I got the ones I showed y'all in the staycation vlog, plus one more long sleeve shirt to throw over with like shorts and a swimsuit if I want. I'm such an overpacker. Oh, I put toast in the toaster actually. Toast break. Got a little burned, <laughs> but I'm gonna try an interesting combination of brie Persimmon jam. Okay, stick with me here. This is gonna sound kind of weird. Brie and jam makes sense. I feel like people do that. Topping it with some spicy chili crisp. I should not open this with white pants on. High risk, low reward. All right, maybe a little salt. As a recap, this is sourdough toast, brie cheese, jam from the farmer's market, persimmon jam, um, this chili garlic oil. And the flaky salt. Whenever I try weird things mixed together, I feel like ratatouille. I'm into it. That's so good. Breakfast, incredible. 
And I had put on these pants just to wear today. And now I'm like, man, should I pack these pants? But they're more white pants. I'm such an overpacker. Ah, they're so cute. No. Okay, I won't. I'll just wear them today. Hey, pop. Are you ready for the vet? Oh, you see a friend that has food. Mix. Are you ready though? Oh, he's not going to give you that food. He doesn't even know you. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You tell him the good news. Uh, Max has lost four pounds. He only needs to lose one more pound. Good job, bub. So I was really excited to hear that. And we have picked out some food options. We are going to try switching up his foods and seeing if it continues to help him. So I'll be documenting that process once we transition that over and we'll see what he ends up going with and liking. They still don't know if it's like environmental allergens or if it's more like, you know, sensitive stomach. So we're going to experiment, but the vet's going to be helping us, which is great. Now to drop off Max and I untape my nose just for that appointment. Um, maybe I'll leave it untaped for nails, but just, you know, trying to like bit by bit have time with the nose out in the wild because I got permission to do that as well for a couple hours at a time. Gonna drop off Max and get fresh nails for vacation. I wonder what color I'll do. I haven't thought about that yet actually. Here's how they turn out. I actually think they're so fun. I asked for black and then like halfway through I was like, oh no, I should have done white so it's more subtle, but I actually like how you can see it from afar. It's like little eyeballs. <laughs> Mr. Nose is still out in the wild and he's he's feeling pretty fine like it's weird when I take the tape off I feel like the swelling makes my nasal passages smaller so it's a little bit harder to breathe without the tape which feels counterintuitive but it's like less and less uncomfortable every time I do it um, which is great I mean swelling's probably continuing to go down and I'm gonna make one more stop at Walgreens to pick up a couple essentials and I think that wraps errands for today tonight laundry, self-tan, computer stuff. Tomorrow's gonna be the hustle clean pack day, which I'm excited to get that situated. Um, Cause it always just feels good knowing that your house has had a deep clean and that the person staying in your house is gonna have a good clean experience as well, you know? Good morning. It's the next day. Are you guys ready for the most productive day of your lives? Just kidding, but I'm planning out exactly everything I need to do today. Um, it's 10, I got fully ready this morning and then was in so much pain that I had to get in a baking soda bath for a bit. And so now I'm dressed again. Do I overshare too much? Are you ready for the things we need to do today? Empty fridge, take out trash, clean bathrooms, change the sheets, get packages, wrap the gift, vacuum, change the sheets, it's on there twice, pack. And then tonight I need to do computer work. I need to review and upload three videos, which that takes me like an hour, hour and a half a piece. So that's gonna be a little chunk of time. Then I wanna shower and wash and style my hair so when I wake up tomorrow, I can just hop on the plane, leave at like 6 a.m. And then I need to upload this vlog. I need to actually charge my other earbuds to take on the plane. And in the meantime, I will use my AirPods to listen to some podcasts and be productive. Let's do this.
but surely we're getting through the list. I'm about to go run and get packages, but I wanted to show y'all something. Because last night, a friend of mine, Samantha, she went to my high school, but she was a couple years older than me, so we didn't know each other super well. We kind of reconnected when I moved to Austin. Anyways, she brought me over something. One of my most prized possessions is for mine and Jordy's first date, my first date, my and Jordy's first date. He had reached out to her. I honestly don't even know how he found her. I need to ask him how he even found her because she's a florist and he had her create like a bouquet and that's what he brought to me on our first date. He brought me that and he brought me a birthday gift because it was like two days before my birthday and I've kept it ever since. And so now it's dried fully and um, it was looking a little sad. So she brought me more dried flowers to like add to it, to like zhuzh it back up. Now it's looking so full and beautiful. So I would say like, you know, a little over half of this was from the original bouquet from our first date. And she brought me these like really beautiful kind of like pearlescent dried leaves amongst some other things, a few more of the little hanging wobbly guys. I don't know, but it makes me so happy to have this revived and looking fresh again because it's something I really want to keep forever. It's seriously one of my most prized possessions because how sweet to still have the flowers from your first date a year and a half later, you know? And she brought me something else so thoughtful. Her grandfather, I forget if she said step-grandfather or great-grandfather, but a grandfather figure of hers was a painter and painted this. And she said that she has so many paintings from him and if it's not signed, it means he didn't like it. And this one's not signed. Isn't that crazy that he didn't like this? And it is a lighthouse. So she knows I love lighthouses and she brought it to me. Isn't that the most thoughtful thing? I need to figure out how to hang it. I probably have to get it framed because I want to add it to my gallery wall. But in the meantime, I just have it kind of sitting out to look at because it's so beautiful. Anyways, packages, and then we'll wrap, to wrap a gift, which is always fun. Okay, I just got back from the package room. This was the one in there, and I'm gonna unbox this while I tell you story time about Nespresso. So I'm going to be giving this as a gift, but the reason behind it is, this is my Nespresso back there. It's the Virtuo Next, I think. Yeah, Next. And this is the second time this has happened to me. I woke up one morning and it just, didn't turn on, like didn't even work, wasn't giving any sort of error light or anything. And it happened to me once before, so I bought a new one. So the second machine, it had happened again, like about six, eight months after I bought it. And I waited a couple days to see if it was just like randomly self-correct and start working and it didn't. And it's my, my favorite part of the day is waking up and making a latte. So I just went ahead and was like, oh well, you want some, you lose some. And I ordered a new one off Amazon and it got here and I opened it and I started using it. And I shared on TikTok that that had happened and people had told me, they were like, apparently that happens with that model like pretty often. And if you call the Nespresso like helpline, then they will like FaceTime you or video chat you to confirm it's broken and then just send you a replacement. And I was like, interesting. So my first thought, was maybe I'll do that to get a replacement and then I'll return the one I got on Amazon to get my money back because at this point it's my third machine. <laughs> and I actually told them that these keep breaking on me. They're like, do you wanna try a different model? And I was like, sure. So we picked out this one. It's the Virtuo Plus, but it's the cream. It looks so pretty online, unless they sent the wrong one. This is boxes, gray. I kinda of wanna peek. So that was my plan, but then, you know, I was thinking, I've used that one. That feels weird to return it. I don't think that that's like morally right. And I think it would be so sweet to give this one to, oh, it is the cream. Oh, it's so pretty, but I don't want to unbox it because I'm giving it as a gift. Um, but I, I thought it would be so sweet to give it as a housewarming gift to Micah and Davina, who, as y'all know, normally when I'm out of town, I hire them to stay here with Max. So they're here all the time. And Davina has told me how much she loves making lattes when she's here. And they just moved in together in their first apartment. So, like not living with family. So I was like, this could be a good housewarming gift to give to them, especially for how often. Like they came and helped with Max when I was in the hospital before my mom could get out here. So they're just awesome and they're always here for me. So, oh yeah, there's the cream color. Can you see that sticker? It's really cute. So I wanna wrap this and give them a little card and make it a little housewarming thing, which I think it's kind of like a win-win-win.
You know what I mean? Like everybody wins. Oh, it's so funny. I think knowing that it is my last day of like proper work for a while. I have, remember in high school when they would say you get senioritis your senior year because you're like, uh, my transcripts are already like submitted to the college. I already got accepted, whatever. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> like my motivation is just shot, but I just made myself a little matcha latte. I'm still using half of that blueberry lavender milk from Trader Joe's and half Oatly. And I like it better that way because the Oatly's creamier. And I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try moving this work party outside into the 104 degree heat, but just for a little bit for some fresh air and some brightness and some sunshine, I feel like might wake me up and motivate me a little bit more. So that's the update. <laughs> Clearly back from just the shortest walk and so sweaty. I'm so excited to get out of this heat. But I need motivation to clean and to wipe everything down. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to motivate myself with a with a good old magic trick. Fully clean bathroom. Even the mirror and the toilet and the shower and everything. Oh thank you for motivating me to do that. With that, everything's clean. I just vacuumed and crossed every single cleaning thing off my list. Um, I wanted to sit down and talk feelings though. I am still feeling maybe a little bit frustrated that I feel like my capacity is so low and I'm on week like over week three of just like not being myself still and things, I don't know, just even vacuuming the house, I'm like, Oh, I need to lay down and I don't feel mentally motivated to get work done. I have to like bribe myself and normally that's not me at all. I've never really struggled with motivation before and I expected that for a bit, but the fact that I'm still feeling that way is really just frustrating. So with that, I'm so excited that it just happened to line up with, um, my feelings are lining up with my plans very well of actually taking a little bit of time off. And I kind of knew going into it that, um, you know, I'd be working through the surgery and whatever, and I would probably want a break, but I didn't realize like how much I would need a break mentally. It's hard to think of content all the time. Real life behind the scenes of this job is whenever a video is sponsored, the brand really counts on you to think of something clickable enough for what they're paying for to get enough views, which is why whenever something's unsponsored, like usually Mondays, I'll just do whatever I want that I know won't really perform well, more for myself and my creativity because no one's gonna be mad at me if it doesn't perform well. But it's just part of the job that when you're working with a brand, you really have to think of something that will be clicked on or else the brand will come back to you and be like, hey, we were disappointed in the performance of that video and like nothing hurts more. So I'm constantly pushing myself to think of new things to share or whatever so that the brands feel like they were pleased working with me. And doing that several times a week every week for forever, it does, you do sometimes like worry like, uh-oh, can I do this forever? <laughs> so I'm excited to kind of just like recharge my brain for a bit. And like, I, whenever I take a little bit of time off work, all these video ideas and all these like topics I wanna to talk about and all these realizations that I have about just like living life and being a human hit me. And I write them all down and then I always feel replenished. I haven't taken off more than a week since Christmas. Um, and I am a little bit nervous that I won't be able to fully enjoy my time off just with not being physically 100% still. So Jordy's been really sweet and he's like checking in. He's like, okay, like making this plan, but is it too much? Do you wanna make sure to like have, you know, like half a day off just to rest every day before we like go out and hang out with someone and like do all that. So we're trying to figure out like what a good balance will be of rest and play, but it's also hard to like plan rest and play when I don't really know myself right now and I don't really know what my limits are right now because I know my limits normally and I could play, play, play all day. But right now I'm like, I think I can play like 10% of what I normally can. <laughs> so I love y'all. I will see you in 10 days. Hopefully there's a little bonus video coming out. We'll see, TBD. Um, but otherwise, I hope you have fun. If you've missed any old videos, feel free to go back and watch those if you are looking for something to watch that always helps too. That helps keep my name in the algorithm a little bit, I think, which is nice. I think YouTube favors a channel more when people are going back and watching old videos. So that's really nice as well. Thank you to Typology for partnering with me on this video. As you can see, 
my skin, the wear test, it wears really well all day and it's just like a nice, light, dewy, beautiful finish, which I do really love. Please to work with them. I'll have that link down below where you can get the um, gift for free when you're purchased. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> I was just saying that link will take you to the gift with the purchase over $40. All that good stuff will be in the description. I love you. Thanks for talking feelings with me. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video not very soon, but soon, relatively speaking, in terms of life. You get it. Bye.